myself. Uh, when I first, um, I was incarcerated, and we'll get into that later, and I was looking for some, uh, someone in Fairfield, in the Bay Area, God had told me he was gonna send me some people. <laughs> But I want to make that the number one. So I'm going to say there's three. God first. You know, there's freedom. You know, but with, with discipline. You know, it's not just an anything goes type of thing. You know, but there's freedom here. You can cry. You can speak. God first. Second thing is, what happens in DS stays in DS. Because we believe God, when he, when he found us and we first started, confidentiality was, is so important to the healing of women. And being able to trust because there's been so much that has happened in our relationships. I don't know very, I mean, you might have one or two that you roll with and that you real tight with, but I don't know very many women um, who just do things on this scale and they're all on one accord. You know, that's just what's happened in our, in our day of time. You know, I've seen mothers and daughters against each other. You know, blood sisters against each other. You know, and God is saying, it's, it's time out for all that. We need to tear all that down because it's stuff that we're being held up from. There's things that he has for us to do. There's people who are waiting for the word or the encouragement or the hug that we have, but we're so afraid to give it out. So he has allowed this, and I'm not saying we're the only ones, I'm just saying I'm doing what he's telling me to do. You know, and to everyone who would come along and put their hands to it and join us. Like I said, we're not all one church. We're not trying to proselytize and pull nobody out. We meet once a month. You know, God says something different, you say something different. But until then, this is what we're doing. And the third thing is, when you come, you don't have to say anything. Now, you might get put on the spot, which we're known to do. You know, yes. you, don't, you don't have to say anything. But when you do speak, be real, be transparent, be, because that's what's gonna free you up and free up a whole lot of other people too. Because your word, your testimony, the, the thing you, you, you're concerned about, whatever it is, if another sister can identify with that, then she knows I'm not alone, or I'm not the only one, or I need to go um, talk to her and hook up with this sister. So as she was saying, um, and I, you know, she was going, I was gonna read all that stuff, but she did. Can I borrow one of those? I guess there's a few points I wanna hit the uh, purpose thing here. Um, one of the ways that we we do that, some of the, the exercises that we do is called a um, sister to sister. And it's like the white elephant gift exchange. You know, it's like one man's trash is another man's treasure. But we want to go from treasure to treasure with this sister, okay? So um, if we have things that we need to get rid of or, you know, we think might bless somebody else, bring them. You know, because there may be a need. And then we also open it up to where if someone does have a need, um, matter of fact, there was one a couple months ago, and I don't think that one's been met yet. One sister needs a blender, and another sister needed a, a coat, a suit, a black suit coat, and she got her suit coat. So I'm just saying, um, year, months ago, Amen. Sister Jewel right here helped me set up a website called Things Common. It was based, you know, the books of back where it said, uh, none of them considered their things to be their own, but they had all things common. So therefore, every need was met. So that's what God is saying through all of this. You know, by all of us coming together, everything we need is in the house. Amen. Amen. Um, how are we going to do all these things? Oh, divine sisterhood sounds so great. Uh, commitment, communication. I'm going to talk about that too. Love and acceptance, quality. Oh, application, spiritual gifts, discover your purpose. Though I have many gifts as a day, he is healing every part of
best, yes. best somebody has ever given me. I remember this day for the rest of my life.
necessarily need a microphone. Okay. Okay. So I just need you guys. Can I just make sure? Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm without excuse if you can hear me now. I know that's right. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, um. Sometimes in life we have to go through something in order to get to something. And I was riding a bark from Richmond to Fremont one time, and there were nine dark tunnels from Richmond to Fremont. And I considered those dark tunnels to be um, a dark situation. I had just got released from the uh, Salvation Army. Some of y'all may be familiar with that in San Francisco, although I was in the one in Oakland also. And I was looking at the, you know, the bar, if you ride the bar, the mirrors, the windows are very tinted, they're very dark. So therefore, the only reflection that I could see was myself. And as I was riding the bar, the Holy Spirit told me to count the tunnels, literally told me to count the tunnels. Because remember, I looked at these tunnels as dark situations. Amen? Distractions. Although the kids are very beautiful, we love them. Amen? Amen. Yeah, but many of us, the reason why we haven't reached the zenith of our Christian potential is because we have a lot of distractions in our life. And the sad part about it is, uh, although you have examined it, you have dissected it, you have dissembled it, that means you broke it down. Come on. You, have, you refuse to get rid of the weight and the sin that's so easy to lose you. Yeah. You have attached yourself or allowed something to attach itself to you that is essentially stunting your growth. Come on. And you can't be the man or the woman of God that God has called you to be because of him or her or them. All right. All right. All right. Going back to the tunnel, the bar, going through. I looked the word up through. Uh -huh. The word through is an action word. Mm -hmm. It is a verb. And God says, I care more about you than I do this train. Amen. So this is like the, just like the train can get through nine dark situations and a span from an hour and ten minutes, what makes you think I won't allow you to get through your one? So the next time you're going through something, which I can almost feel in the atmosphere, is very thick, but before I finish speaking, I guarantee you the chains are coming off. I guarantee you that. So, again, the word through is an action word. So, ladies, the next time you're going through something, you can start giving God the praise because yeah. just like the train, that means you're coming out. Yeah. 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 You're coming out. Yeah. I thank God for my sister granting me this opportunity for this, uh, to, 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 uh, and this platform, if you will, uh, to speak to you all. It is an opportunity being granted to me. I thank God that my pastor and first lady just surprised me and just showed up. They just showed up. They just showed up. And as you can see, the Holy Spirit showed out in them. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we give all credit to God. We don't care about no accolades and all that other stuff. And, you know, we just, we thank God. All that other stuff just come with it. You know? Yeah, you, you, yeah, 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 that's real talk. A lot of times, you know, the, uh, 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 the Bible says, that, you know, draw nigh unto me and I'll draw 